Hello friends, welcome to my channel. So today we'll talk about back of envelope estimation. So before getting to know about back of envelope estimation, first let's try to understand why we need a back of envelope estimation. Suppose we have de uh, designed a YouTube application and that is deployed in a server and it has a storage where the videos are uploaded and that will be streamed from this database. Now when the user is requesting uh, the video from the internet, so it will come to the server and uh, the server will fetch from the database and it will stream the video. And now requests are coming more. Right. So what will happen in this case, this alone single server will not able to handle the request. But how we'll get to know how many uh, requests we have to handle it, right? So according to that, we have to uh, scale our servers, right? And once we know these many users are again going to upload as many videos, right? If the few users are there, then they can upload the video and that can be up stored in a single database. But if millions of users and billions of users is trying to upload the video and those uh, millions and billions are user are again trying to watch the video then definitely we have to scale the database as well right so to scaling the database to scaling the server and how much the data we have to return from this server right that particular bandwidth calculation and how much time it is uh, taking to uh, return the response that latency calculation and how much server we need how much database we need due to these calculation approx calculation we have to do in the system design interview based on that our design can change and we have to take a different uh, trade-offs while designing our systems in a real time also and in the system design interview as well so because of that we have to do the back of envelope estimation so when we do the back of envelope estimation uh, we have to calculate few things first one the load on the system like how much traffic we are getting per second in our system second how much storage we need it third one how much bandwidth we have to support it and how much latency we can tolerate it if the latency is higher then we have to use the caching in between and how much resource is needed basically how much server we need it right for and each server is having how many cores it is running inside it and uh, one more thing here is we have to uh, keep remember one table here this this is a very simple table what i am trying to refer is to make our calculation very simple what we will do we will calculate back of envelope estimation in 10 to the powers right 10 to the power one or anything so for thousand we know it is having three zero for million it is having this 10 to the power six right and similar to like in the storage we know in one kb it is equal to one zero two four bytes right but we'll round off we'll say one thousand like that right it is having a three zero like that i have made one this table and every software engineer has to remember this table it will ease our calculation of back of envelope estimation so for three zeros it's a thousand in the traffic and in the storage we can refer as a 1kb like that in six zero it will refer in the traffic as 1 million traffic can come and in the storage wise if you refer it will be kind of a 1mb and for nine zero it will refer to 1 billion as a traffic and while storage wise it's a 1gb and for 12 zero it can refer 1 trillion as a traffic and 1 terabyte in a storage wise and for 15 zeros like 1 quadrillion in a traffic wise and 1 petabyte in a storage wise so in back of envelope first uh, we'll try to calculate load on the system so basically how many requests per second it is coming suppose uh, in our youtube platform we have a 10 million daily active user and on an average right 10 posts per user posting per day so now we have to basically calculate how much request we are getting per second so let's uh, try to calculate first how many requests are we are getting per day so to calculate the request total number of posts we are getting per day so what we have to do we have to just multiply this 100 million right 100 million daily active user so here i have written 100 million daily active user into 10 post per right so that's why i am multiplying 100 million into 10 post per user so now to ease our calculation what we will do we'll make 100 as it is and this million will refer the table and try to know how many zeros which is having in the million it says six zero so we will make it 10 to the power six and this 10 will be as it is now we'll segregate all the zeros together so in the 10 to the power 6 here having a 6 0 here is a 7 here is a 8 and it is here is a 9 so now we'll make it 10 to the power 9 and now we'll refer again the table in the 10 to the power 9 
when we refer to the traffic column right it says it will be a 1 billion so now we'll mention here 1 billion post per day we are getting so now we have calculated how many post right we are getting per day now we have to calculate per second so to calculate in per second we have to calculate how many second it will have in per day right so we know in e in one day we have a 24 hour 60 minute and 60 second when we compute this value it will come around 86400 seconds so when we round off it will come around 1 lakh second so to estimate right request per second right what we have to do we have to just divide a 1 billion post per day divided by 1 lakh seconds right we are going to get 10,000 requests per second so second we have a storage estimation and in storage estimation suppose in youtube we have 500 million users and on an average each user uploaded two photos right and each photo size is 2 mb here so what i am saying here is so each user one user is going to upload two photo with 2 mb of size right and how many user we have we have a 5 million user so that's how to compute the storage need we have to multiply 500 million user that is going to upload two photos and each photo size is 2 mb so we'll multiply all together so to ease our calculation again we refer the table for a million how many integers it is having it's having 10 to the power 6 then we'll make it 500 into 10 to the power 6 for two photos and again for 2 MB will make it into 2 for MB again we refer the table and it will have a 6 0 then we'll make it 10 to the power 6 now what we do we'll segregate all the zeros so we'll have a 6 and 6 12 10 to the power zeros and here 13 and 14 so 10 to the power 14 now we'll compute these value 2 into 2 is 4 and 4 into 5 is 20 so that's why we have made it 20 into 10 to the power 14 then it will become 2 into 10 to the power 15 so now when we refer the table here so what is 10 to the power 15 is in a storage 1 petabyte right so this will become 2 into petabyte so 2 petabyte so this storage we need it for one day now we wanted to calculate it for one year so we have to multiply to the 365 and now we wanted to store it for five years then we have to multiply it for five so this will give us the five year storage need now third one we have a bandwidth estimation so in bandwidth estimation for each video streaming of like uh, one user when we wanted to stream 1080 pixel that is taking 4 mb per second so now when we wanted to support a 10 million user so what we have to do we have to multiply the 10 million user into the 4 megapixel so uh, now to ease our calculation again for million we will refer the table it will be the 10 to the power 6 so here 10 and 4 million I have written the 10 to the power 6 and 4 MB 4 as will be as it is and for MB here will be the 10 to the power 6 again I am written the 10 to the power 6 right here now we'll uh, club all the zeros so 6 and 6 is 12 and it's a 13 so we have to compute into the 3 to, to the power of 10s right so what we will do we'll check this 6 and 6 is 12 so we'll take 12 as it is right and this 4 into 10 will be 40 so 40 into 10 to the power 12 so we'll refer the table again 10 to the power 12 is 1 terabyte right in a storage so we will say for this 12 will be the terabyte 1 terabyte and this 40 will become the 40 terabyte so 40 terabyte bandwidth we need to support 10 million uh, user for watching this 1080 pixel so like that we have to calculate the bandwidth so now the fourth one we have a latency estimation so in the latency estimate suppose our youtube api that fetches the data from multiple sources and we know that average of each source is what is going to contain suppose the first source is getting a 50 millisecond second source is taking 100 millisecond and third source is taking a 200 millisecond like that if the data we are fetching right it is in sequential the total it will take a 50 millisecond 100 and 200 right so it will become 350 millisecond but if we fetch this data in parallel so what will happen in the parallel if you're trying to fetch it there are three source right one two three right first one is taking a 50 millisecond second one is taking 100 millisecond and third one is taking a 200 millisecond so whatever is going to take a max of right so that will be the time of the latency for the in parallel so in parallel uh, this 200 millisecond is maximum right so the in parallel 200 millisecond will be the latency so suppose our latency we can only 
tolerate is kind of a two millisecond or like that three millisecond then we have to caching we have to do the caching basically we have to query first and get the result and we have to store into the cache and then and the further request we have to serve the request from the cache so that's how we are gonna so estimate the latency and we have to use the caching so first one we have a resource estimation basically how many machines we need it right to calculate that suppose YouTube application receives a thousand requests per second right and each request require a 10 millisecond of CPU time right so we have to calculate how many CPU cores and the servers are needed right so one request we know 10 millisecond it is taking right so to compute the one request per second cpu time is 10 millisecond into one right so now when we wanted to compute the total cpu time which is gonna taken by the 10,000 request it is very simple 10,000 into 10 so it will become 1 lakh millisecond total CPU time right for one request right it is taking how much 10 millisecond CPU time right so what I am saying is 10,000 request how many CPU time it will take so it will take 10 into 10,000 right so it will become 1 lakh millisecond one CPU core handle 1000 millisecond of processing so when we divide this particular 1 lakh millisecond by 1000 millisecond so it will come around 100 cores so I hope you got it so what 100 core means here is suppose you have a server one it is having a four core right then it means you need it 100 divided by 4 it will become a 25 it means you need a 25 server which is having the four core so like that we have to calculate the how many servers we need it to compute the all the request so this is all about the backup envelope estimation I hope you like the video please do subscribe my channel and enjoy watching the system design videos.